Hey guys, welcome to Better at Beach. My name is Mark and today in this video, we are gonna go through the sequence of your steps for your approach, what part of your foot should be hitting the ground, and how your arms work to get you max height when you swing. So if you're interested in getting a better approach, jumping higher and hitting harder, this video is for you. Let's dive in. Guys, bring it in nice and close because I'm going to ask you guys to check this out in slow motion. We're, gonna, we're just going to recap what we want to be and where we want to be when we are approaching, okay? So enough distance that you can record our coaches. But when you record your approaches in slow motion, and if you have never recorded your approach in slow motion, that is a must. By the time you leave this week, you should have a bare minimum 10 slow motion full approaches recorded. Okay, because we want to look at your jump technique. We want to see how it's going, where your step sequences are, so that like when the coaches are talking to you, it starts making sense in terms of video. So there are, and I explained this to a couple courts already, so it might be a review for you guys. Okay. There are a couple of checkpoints that we want to have. With a small first step, okay, it's a very small first step. If you get extended on that step, you have gone too far. We need that to be small. By the second step, the next checkpoint that you want to look for is, are your shoulders, in front of your toe before you take off, or do you do this and then pull yourself with your hamstring? We need to drive. It's like a wide receiver getting at the line of scrimmage. Your knee is over your toe. That means that your calf is flexed, your legs are loaded, so you're ready to fire off with toes, glutes, quads, hamstrings, okay? Your hands at that point should be in front of you. So that's the next checkpoint when you're filming yourself in slow motion. Your hands should be in front of you and your shoulders are forward so that your hands are hanging naturally in front of your body. If you need a cue for this, we're gonna call it that shopping cart hands. Okay, shopping cart or lawnmower hands. All right, we can put them out in front. The next cue, okay, is in between your left step and your right left. Your arms need to hit max height behind you okay so in this transition in super slow motion it's hit right left okay notice that it is not hit right left <laughs> i know i know trust me <laughs> if you guys are interested in diving deeper into arm swing mechanics into approach mechanics and basically offensive decision makings on our website, betteratbeach.com, you can find our beach volleyball coaching program where we coach you using your own videos and we give you at-home drills that you can record and put into our private Facebook group. And we coach you twice a week using your videos and a private Facebook group. So if you want to improve your jumping, spiking, and hitting mechanics, go ahead to betteratbeach.com forward slash coaching and join our group. We have courses all laid out for you. We are like a Corvette. The more you accelerate, the lower to the ground you get, okay? So on these last steps, you're driving into the ground so that you have that squat position so that you can drive, okay? In order to have good arm swing mechanics, again, your arms need to be at max extension in between your left and your right left. So when you record yourself in slow motion and you look at it, you're looking for that transition. Are my arms all the way back behind my shoulders and high before that happens? One of the common mistakes we see there is that people do this, okay? They bend themselves, so they go forward here. You're getting low with your hips, but just like you're in a squat rack, your chest should be upright and your arms are the pendulum working around that. If you're doing this, again, you lose your spine and you lose the power and force you can generate into the ground, which equal and opposite reaction, we don't get forced back up, okay? And then once we're in that squat, okay? After the, sorry, after the transition with the hands, it should be heel strike, rolling over into the ball of my foot. Not, for all my gymnasts and dancers out there, toe strike, okay? The toe strike is when you break, you slow yourself down, you lose height. So it's heel roll, hit, and then we're up, okay? Heel roll, hit with the left ball of your foot or the middle of your foot, and then you're up, okay? So again, small right, left, shoulders leaning forward, hands are in front. Transition where I get my arms back all the way at max height in between, then I go to heel strike, pop, pop, and up. For all my indoor players out there, we are no longer turning this foot 
and opening your whole body to your setter. Your toes will point in the direction that you're going. That means that if I'm approaching at an angle, yes, my left foot will be slightly forward and I'll look like this. So I'll naturally be kind of open to my setter. But I do not do this block step on the sand. I will do that in indoor. So your toes go forward in beach volleyball. Your left or your block step drives sideways in indoor, okay? Now that we are through that, you guys are all going to record our fantastic coaches in slow motion so that you can see every one of those checkpoints when you go in slow motion. Now it's right, he's not doing this. It looks like he's doing that because he's got hip hinge, but he's here, okay? That's where we're getting that power up. See how arm, high his arms get back? If you look at that in slow motion, you'll see that his hand's actually behind his head. Good double arm lift. Okay, you have fantastic approaches in slow motion. Marine and Allie, can you guys give us demos from the female side, please? Good. Good. Okay. Hey, it's men's that is. You want more? Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Bounce me. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. So all of us coaches have little micro inefficiencies, right? None of us have a perfect approach, but we are pretty close to perfect, which is nice. Okay. Um, so those slow motion items that you see and all those checkpoints that you recorded, that's, that's your homework from home and recording yourself in slow motion is gonna be massively important to your development so that you can check out those checkpoints and know where you are. Jump technique, arms, leg rhythm, heel strike, all of this stuff is incredibly important. And it's also stuff that we go over a lot in our attacking course, in our arm swing course, and in our max vertical course, if you ever are interested in joining us in the beach volleyball mastery stuff online. Okay, but that's what we go through. You record your slow motion, and then in our private Facebook group, we take you step by step through each sequence of that, and we coach you on your slow motion videos, if you're ever interested. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Like I said at the beginning, if you are interested in getting online coaching, you can head to betteratbeach.com. If you wanna join us on one of our seven day training camps in Florida or any other city, and clinics, you can also click one of the links below. We have clinics where we run one day weekend clinics and we have training camps and adult beach volleyball vacations. So you can find it all at betteratbeach.com.